Opening day, a close win for the Red Sox at Fenway today as they took on the Baltimore Orioles in their home opener. Now, this is the ninth straight home opener win for Boston and Red Sox Nation excited for another season of baseball, hoping for a complete turnaround from last year's disaster of a season. Eyewitness Sports Director Eric Murphy now is live at Fenway with more on today's home opener and reaction from the fans. Eric. Well, Mike, as you know, opening day here at Fenway Park is just like another holiday. One big party for all of Red Sox Nation. And the win, the 3-1 win over the Orioles, capping off a very festive day here at Fenway. We've actually been here all day. In fact, we showed up in the wee hours of the morning. My colleague, Andrew Adamson, uh, showed up as part of Eyewitness News this morning to catch up with fans well before first pitch. It only comes around once a year. That's right, the home opener here at historic Fenway Park. The first game of 2013 here for the Red Sox brought tens of thousands of fans to the ballpark. Eyewitness News was here to capture the action bright and early. Yeah, 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 my right TV. Right. It's my hero. Those sounds can only mean one thing. Baseball is back in Boston. For superfan Scott Springer, there's nothing like Red Sox opening day. It's another holiday in my book. Take the day off every year. Work, school, doesn't matter. I'm here. Springer and his friends got here at 8 p.m. Sunday, more than 18 hours before first pitch. We missed it yesterday afternoon. It's our sixth year in counting. We would have missed it for a thing. We stayed the night, and uh, we're still first in line. And we're just looking forward to a good game, and we're looking forward to a great season. Optimism abounds for Sox fans, whether you're a seasoned veteran or a newbie. My first time in uh, Boston from Italy, the Toscana, full fanatic the Red Sox. I've been to Yankee Stadium, I've been to Shea State, the old Shea Stadium, but uh, no, there's nothing like Fenway. More than 37,000 fans packed the ballpark today, extending the longest sellout streak in Major League Baseball history. But it may not last for long. Red Sox president and CEO Larry Lucchino said he expects the streak to end sometime this month. For the faithful, though, that doesn't matter. There was a curse for 86 years. That had to end. One, whatever. It's the streak has to end. We're still here. Today marked the 794th game in a row that Fenway Park has been filled. The last time they didn't sell out, back in May of 2003. With the Mobile Newsroom in Boston, Andrew Adamson, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Andrew. Yes, it has been a very long day, but a very uh, victorious day here for Red Sox Nation. The fans now starting to clear out after the big win over the Orioles. We'll have much more on the victory highlights, plus post-game reaction from the manager and pitcher Clay Buckholtz. That coming up in just a little bit in sports. For now, live from Fenway Park, Eric Murphy, Eyewitness News.